Hi, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the great state of New Jersey. Before we dive into today's topic, uh, if you'd like to speak to me about any estate planning or probate issues, uh, or if you have any questions, contact me at njestateattorney.com or send me an email at david at campanillelaw.com. So today's topic is uh, going to be about do not resuscitate forms. And um, when I'm conducting estate plans, it seems to be a question that I'm getting more and more or uh, something that people are more interested in now is they uh, a lot of people don't want to be resuscitated. Now, uh, it seems to be a common misconception that um, – do not resuscitate orders are part of your estate plan. However, they are not. Um, usually in an estate plan, at least that I draft, we also do a, a health care directive and, or a living will. And in that, you're basically saying if you are at an end of life situation um, and do you want to be plugged in and live on a ventilator, a heart lung machine, or do you want your family to um, basically pull the plug. Um, so a do not resuscitate order is a lot different than your living will. Um, and kind of interesting, do not resuscitate orders are not signed by attorneys. They're actually signed by doctors. Um, at least in New Jersey, uh, do not resuscitate form is issued by your treating physician or your primary care doctor, um, at the request of a patient, um, at the request of the patient. Um, so basically, usually doctors hold on to these until they know you're approaching those end of life scenarios. Um, and they will, if you request it, they will sign these do not resuscitate forms. Now, what do these forms do really is they notify EMS, EMTs, emergency medical workers um, that if you can't breathe or you're in cardiac arrest, not to touch you. And basically you said, and your doctor has signed off that let the person go. Um, and that's what a do not resuscitate really is. So if you are interested in this, if you are approaching the end of, uh, your life, um, and you are interested in a do not resuscitate or a DNR as we tend to call them, uh, alphabet soup, we like abbreviations on everything. Uh, speak to your treating physician about it. It's something that your attorney cannot uh, do for you, actually. Uh, but there are forms online, and your doctor will definitely have forms. So the moral of, of uh, today's short video is about do not resuscitate forms. They're not a part of estate planning. In estate planning, we do health care directives or living wills, as they're called. Um, do not resuscitate forms are actually given and provided by your doctor and signed off by a doctor. Just remember, though, if you're home, you're going to want to put a do not resuscitate form in an easily accessible place for EMS or EMTs or those emergency medical workers. Normally, it's um, kept on the fridge somewhere. So just a little tidbit of information there. I hope you like this video. Um, yes, it's Monday. I'm a little dressed down, but, uh, you know. I was just a little cold today, wanted to put a sweatshirt on. So uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you know somebody who has questions or comments or concerns about estate planning or, hey, may even have questions about DNRs, uh, share this video with them. Uh, tell them you were thinking about them. Uh, if you'd like to schedule uh, an appointment with me or consultation to discuss estate planning or probate or even this topic a little further, please contact me at njestateattorney.com. I'd love to set up some time with you, or you can send me an email at david at campaneallaw.com. As always, I'm David Campanile, owner of Campanile Law, located in the great state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate.